if A is less than X is less than B, and C is less than Y is less than D, is X less than Y? Well, statement number one tells us that A is less than C. So this would tell us that, of course, X is bigger than A, and then A is bigger than C, and Y is bigger than that. And so both of them are bigger than A, but that doesn't necessarily tell us how they compare. And to see this, let's just pick some values. Let's say that A is 10, C is 12. Well, we would know then that X has to be bigger than 10, and Y has to be bigger than 12. But so we could have that that y is bigger. We could have y equals 15 and x equals 11, or we could have y equals 15 and x equals 20. So either x or y could be bigger given these constraints, because we're really only limiting the lower limit and not the upper limit. And so that's why this is not sufficient information. So statement number one is insufficient. Now forget about statement number one. Statement number two tells us that B is less than C. Well, this is interesting because this is comparing an upper limit of one of the inequalities to the lower limit of another inequality. And we know that X is less than B, which is less than C, which is less than Y. And so by transitivity of inequalities, we can put those directly together and say that X is less than Y. And so it turns out that this information is sufficient to answer the question. Well, statement number one is not sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.